Hello, I'm Lonnie the Theater Lady and I'm so happy that I could be here tonight. Um, I couldn't make it to the studio. Unfortunately, I had a pretty serious skydiving accident. <laughs> Lucky to be alive. And if you believe that, I have a bridge to sell you. But anyway, so I am still able to get out to theater thanks to Uber and friends who are my chauffeurs at this point. And I wanted to tell you about seeing the white chip at the city theater. Um, I had no idea what the white chip was or is. It actually plays really well. The title plays really well into the show because it's part of AA. Um, when you're going to AA, which God knows, none of us need that. Excuse me. <laughs> but if you promise for 24 hours to stay sober and you make a commitment, you get a white chip, everybody cheers for you. It's a wonderful thing. And Sean Daniels, the playwright, uh, wrote this autobiographical play about his journey through pretty serious alcoholism. This is a man that went from having everything, a fabulous career at the Merrimack Rep Theater in Lowell, Massachusetts, as the artistic director, and being married, and, and losing everything due to his severe alcoholism. So he wrote this play about it, and I know you're thinking, oh, geez, that sounds really boring because it sounds so heavy and so sad. And it was written with so much humor and so uh, insightfully that I, I just loved uh, what he had to say and I, I loved his journey from having everything, losing everything and getting it all back again through his sobriety. So the lead in this play, Kyle Cameron, I actually thought as I watched it was Sean Daniels because he was so authentic with his performance and so real I thought, oh, this is the playwright performing his own show. But no, an actor. So he was the lead, and behind him were Dana Michelle Griffith and Daniel Krell, who played so many different characters and so clearly defined each of them. They were his parents at one time. They were people in the rehab. They were just... People, their co-workers, whatever, and Dana does this one scene where she's part of what they call the Jewish rehab team, and she is a Jewish man that had everybody in the audience screaming with laughter. Absolutely hilarious. Those two, uh, their their characterizations of the characters were so wonderful and so rich and just added so much to this wonderful performance by Kyle Cameron. And um, as you walk into the theater, you see this amazing set by Hank Bullington. And I don't want to give away anything about the set, but when you walk in, you're immediately engaged, waiting to see what is going to happen because the set is just intriguing. And oh, the other thing that was really cool about this, the director, Cheryl Caller, is the same woman that directed this show when it first premiered. This is only like the second showing of this. It, it premiered at the theater where Sean was the artistic director and she directed it there as she also directed it here and she's um, a Tony nominee for her directing so very excellent directing this is a show that is insightful it's full of love it's full of laughter it's pretty much every human emotion you could imagine uh, the main character went through in his life and he's so beautifully shared it with us and shared his journey with us. I highly recommend it. And this is a show that had so much snappy dialogue and humor that I think it would be fun to see even more than once. It's at the City Theater in the Lester Hamburg. 
which is a very small venue. <clears throat> Excuse me. And since it is in the smaller theater, I'm sure that it will sell out. As soon as the word gets out, people will want to see the white ship. I know you want to.